Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. I'm your host, Barbara Balfour. I hope you've got your engines ready because we're about <laughs> to talk about the Cruise Dome Bruise Motorcycle Ride. It's happening August 26 and raising awareness for a great cause, programs that target women and children and elders who suffer from abuse or domestic violence. And here to talk to us about that today are Councillor Tim Tierney and uh, Joanne Vermette from the Eastern Ottawa Resource Centre. Thank you so much for joining us. Great, thanks Thank for, you having, for us having us. On. Tell us a little bit about the show. What can we expect or about the event, actually? Well, first of all, um, the Eastern Ottawa Resource Centre does a lot of great work in the community. Uh, and that being said, I actually used to be a board member way back in the day. And this is the eighth annual. I'll tell you, this, this ride used to only comprise of a couple of people around the table. Yeah. Ken and a few other people got together and said, let's do something good and raise money for the community. This is the eighth annual. There's over 200 bikes that show up. Uh, it's a great event. I, I get to shave my hair all funny and wear great clothing like this and, so you and don't rock look like it. this every day. Yeah, this is my council garb. This is it right here. So, uh, that being said, it's it's a great event. Uh, it goes to a great cause, obviously. And uh, sign up. Uh, the numbers are starting to climb pretty quickly, but we want to have a really good number of people. The sun shines out. Things are looking a lot better these days this summer, and we want to have a great event. So how do you participate? Do you need to have a motorcycle? You do, uh, but uh, you do. Uh, there's many ways you can participate. First of all, you can go to the uh, Eastern Ottawa Resource Centre website. You can donate if you, if you can't participate. Uh, but at the start of the event, it's, we start at 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Roy uh, Bartlett from Casey's uh, puts on a great spread, $15 all you can eat. $30 to be a part of the ride. You can hang out for a couple hours, see the great events, all the great bikes in the parking lot if you can't ride. Uh, but for those riders, kickstands up 9 o'clock. We have five hours of great fun. We head out to Plantagenet. We head out to, uh, to, to the cheese factory, the cheese curd uh -huh. factory in St. Albert. And then we round it all back around and end up at uh, hit Osgood, do uh, and we stop at uh, Eastside Mario's and Bell's Corners. So it's a, it's a great ride, great cause, and uh, we want to see everybody out. That's quite a trek. How many kilometers is that? Oh goodness, two hundred, two hundred, yeah. And it's a full day event, I imagine. It is. It's about it a five-hour ride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joanne, tell me a little bit about the programs that are offered mm -hmm. at the center, and let's let's get into some of the statistics. How big of a problem is this in our community? Well, just over last year, we uh, served over twenty-five hundred women who are victim of violence in our community. Um, we service Eastern Ottawa Resource Center services from Cumberland all the way to uh, some western parts of Ottawa for certain services. Specifically with the, the money raised from Cruz Don't Brews, it serves uh, anyone from little ones to seniors who are victims of elder abuse, domestic abuse, and who witness it as well. So just over the last couple of years, 100% of the proceeds uh, have gone towards providing a temporary relief shelter to a senior who is fleeing elder abuse, um, providing uh, emergency shelter and uh, changing locks and hotel rooms uh, to women and children who are victims of domestic violence. And as well, we've uh, been able to provide support groups to little, little ones, uh, preschool-aged children who um, witness domestic violence. So in their own way, they live it their own way as well. So we try to provide some counseling sessions with them and be able to express themselves and, and help them through. And why is that early intervention so important for little ones who have witnessed domestic Domestic violence for so many reasons for uh, for them to be able to uh, uh, have support to get ready to what's to come ahead uh, when they get older uh, before they go to school to prevent about bullying and do bullying intervention and um, live through what they've experienced and try to try to help them every step of the way to know that from the early age on that they can get all the support that they need um, until until they they die pretty much so yeah. I think a lot of our viewers might be surprised at how high the statistics are I mean it's yeah. one of those issues that remain hidden in the community because no one really talks about it no exactly it definitely is there's it I'm I'm baffled by the amount of clients that we serve every single day and the, and the counseling sessions that go on every single day behind the scenes. We obviously keep it secret, keep it uh, private so that f for their own safety, obviously, but and, and they want to be behind the scenes as well because they don't want to show that, you know, they're living this life um, and we're just trying to help them out as much as we can. How much money have you raised in the past and how much are you hoping for this year? I believe in the total of eight years or seven previous years, it's been around the $60,000 mark. Um, so far this year, with the help of our great contributors and supporters and sponsors, we've already raised 11000 That's just from the sponsors that have come through. So hopefully with the registration,
registrations will will reach over the fifteen thousand dollar mark which again hundred percent of the proceeds goes towards helping all those people in 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 Tim's constituency <laughs> <laughs> Tim, let's yeah. go over the logistics of how to get involved. Uh, where where can people find more information? Yeah, like I was saying, uh, there's a couple of ways you can find mm -hmm. it. You can go to the Eastern Ottawa uh, Resource Center's website. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also check my website. We're tweeting. We're on Instagram. We're really pushing the message out this week and next week. We want a big ride number. Like I was saying, eight years. It started out small. We are the second largest ride next to Ride for Dad in the city of Ottawa. Now. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. And I think that really uh, it's it's to the great work of the Eastern Ottawa Resource Center and the community coming together. Uh, I tell you. Uh, we actually used to start it off uh, down at the resource center mm -hmm. in the past. Now when you have 200 engines starting at 9 a.m. in the morning, uh, we decided to move it to a more, a more spacious area where people can partake. Uh, but uh, that would be the two ways I would suggest. Okay. Uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact the resource center, contact myself. We want to get you registered. We want you mm -hmm. out there wild hog style, getting the air in your hair and having a great time. I love it. Thank you so and much for joining for us. And we're looking for cheerleaders also. So if you're just willing to okay. just kind of look, it's, that's a great event to Sounds take great. Well, thank you so much, Tim and Joanne, for joining thank us. You. And thank best you. of luck for such a worthwhile cause. It sounds like a great time. It's thank great you time. so much. Robert. Thank you. Uh, next up, we are talking to craft beer markets. So if you're a beer lover, you're in luck. Stick around. We'll be right back.